4.2% of China's gold reserves could be fake. And this massive gold scam could be the start of the biggest financial crisis the PRC has ever seen. A shadow banking crisis was brewing in China for the last few years, and with the discovery of the biggest gold counterfeiting scandal in human history, this might blow up into a full-blown financial crisis. King Gold Jewelry Inc., China's largest privately owned gold processing and jewelry company headquartered in Wuhan, took a loan of more than 20 billion yuan or 2.8 billion dollars with 83 tons of pure gold as collateral. But when the shadow banks claimed the gold after the company was unable to pay back, they found that what the company claimed as pure gold is actually gilded copper. In fact, 4.2% of China's gold reserves could be fake. The fake gold came to light in February this year when Dongguan Trust, one of those infamous Chinese shadow banks, set out to liquidate King Gold Collateral to cover defaulted debts. In late 2019, King Gold failed to repay investors in several trust products because it lost billions of dollars in China's housing bust. China built many ghost cities when there was no demand for housing in the country. When this demand was being created, several companies like King Gold invested billions of dollars in the housing sector by taking loans from shadow banks with counterfeit gold as collateral and now they are unable to pay back due to the crash of housing prices. The news of counterfeit scandals sent shockwaves through King Gold's creditors. China's Minsheng Trust, another shadow banking company and one of King Gold's largest creditors, obtained a court order to test collateral before King Gold's debts came due. On May 22nd, the test result returned, saying the bars sealed in Minsheng Trust's coffers are also copper alloy. Just how the collapse of the Lehman Brothers due to a housing price crash led to the 2008 financial crisis in the United States, the collapse of the shadow banks due to the inability of companies like King Gold to pay back would lead to another financial crisis, this time in China. The collapse of the shadow banks will not only hurt the banking sector, but the insurance sector too. The loans given to companies like King Gold are secured by state-owned People's Insurance Company of China and other small insurers and therefore, the insurers are set to suffer massive damage. The cascading effect would lead to the collapse of China's financial sector, which is already under stress due to rising defaults. Jasper Yip, Hong Kong-based principal of financial services at Oliver Wyman said, I wouldn't be surprised to see some losses. More borrowers will run into payment difficulties in a slowing economy. As for the gold, several billion in gold bars which never existed resulted in a cascade of subsequent cash flow events allowing tens of billions in funds to be released, benefiting not only founder Jia but China's broader economy. It now appears that a major part of China's subsequent economic boom has been predicated on tens of billions in hard assets which simply do not exist. King Gold is certainly not the only Chinese company engaging in such a blatant fraud and the consequences are clear. Once Chinese creditors or insurance companies start testing the collateral they received in exchange for tens of billions in loans and discover that instead of gold, they are proud owners of tungsten and copper, they will have two choices. Reveal the fraud risking tremendous adverse consequences and or prison time or quietly buy up all the gold needed to literally fill the void from years of gold counterfeiting. In conclusion, China's $3 trillion shadow banking industry is set to get a reality check in the next few days as the whole counterfeit collateral unravels. As most of the loans by shadow banking companies went to the real estate sector which is unable to pay back, more and more companies would move to claim collateral which never existed. Yang Hao, an analyst at Nanjing Securities said, borrowers behind the trust products are those with a higher risk. It represents the most vulnerable part of corporate financing and when a crisis comes, this is the first link to go awry.
Therefore, the Chinese economy is set to suffer a big jolt in the next few days, shock waves of which would be felt around the world thanks to China's counterfeit culture and forced demand creation.